Hiya, it's Katie here from Sprayman UK. Today I thought I'd take you through a brief history of our ever popular machine, the GX21FF. So, Graco launched its superb range of GX sprayers. We have the GXFF with its hopper for fine finish work, and then we also have the GX21, which is siphon fed for all your emulsion work. Now, three years ago, in May 2018, um, our customer, Darren, refused to accept that these two machines couldn't be made in one, so a hopper couldn't go on the GX21. Um, he nagged and badgered Mike here at Sprayman UK to create a machine. So we came up with our Mark I version, which is here. Mark I of the GX21FF. You may have heard it referred to as a DF or direct feed. Now, Mike and Steve, both from engineering backgrounds, Notice some design flaws with this Mark I. So they knew they could do better, basically. So we came up with our Mark II version, which is the GX21FF. Now, this is our current machine, extremely popular. And I'm going to take this video to show you why we moved from Mark I version for the DF to the FF. So the first thing to talk about is the hopper. On our original version, as you can see, the hopper is sticking out. Now, especially when this is filled with paint, this can become very unbalanced when you pick up the machine. Or if you're clumsy or accident prone like I am, you're gonna knock this over. On our GX21FF, the Mark II version, the hopper is directly above the machine and within the footprint of the machine. So what we didn't like about our Mark I version is to change between siphon mode for emulsions and gravity hopper mode for fine finish. You have to actually remove the hopper and also the carbide seat fluid inlet. With our Mark II GX21FS, the hopper can be left in situ between modes. So either mode, you can leave it in situ. So you just remove the feed tube, and then pop the siphon tube on. So with our GX21FF, it only takes a few seconds to change between siphon and gravity and vice versa. There's no need to carry tools around, no need to have to remember a spare valve, no chance of losing a ball or a spring or damaging the carbide seat. And you can also leave the hopper in situ. We have got a Sprayman UK video on how to change between modes and I will pop a link in the description. So the GX21FF has this feed tube. There seems to be some confusion out there between a feed and siphon fed. This is a siphon fed tube. It will always contain a volume of liquid from here to here and it must maintain that volume of paint. So this volume of paint will never be used. This is a feed tube, which means any liquid that goes into the hopper will feed straight through the hopper, through the feed tube and straight into the pump. Effectively, what we're doing is increasing the capacity of the hopper by around 100 mil or so, and there's absolutely no wasted paint within this tube. There is a myth out there that there is wasted paint in this feed tube, and that may cause priming issues. This is absolutely not the case, and we can actually demonstrate this. So as you can see here, the liquid is flowing through and the tube is filled. This is what we call a flood, flooded pump inlet. There is no chance, as you can see, that you will pump air through the machine. The only way that could happen is if the hopper was empty, and that would be the same as any hopper with any sprayer. There is also no extra time with cleaning. When you flush through the machine as normal, the feed tube will automatically be cleaned as well. So no time wasted. So that's our GX21FF. Hopefully we have answered some questions about why we've moved on from our Mark I DF version. And we moved on to our Mark II GX21FF. A fantastic machine that's always ready to go in both modes and so easy to swap between them. 
For those of you who have a DF and want to upgrade to the GX21FF, we will soon have a low cost kit available to you. And that's it. Happy spraying.